And uh, SABC News reporter Pimani Baloi joins us live now as we look at this particular story. Pimani, good afternoon to you and thank you so much for your time. Take us through that moment when Ndo broke down. What led to that? Good evening, Bongiwe, and good evening to our viewers. It was actually as his lawyer started presenting the report that the court had just received from the Donald Fraser, when the lawyer said the words bipolar mood disorder, suddenly there was a cry that burst out in that court building. And immediately after he had calmed down and composed himself, the judge asked him, Mr. No, why are you crying? And his answer was that when he remembered but when he recalls the struggle, the admission that he's gone through, the admissions, several admissions that he had gone through and his met mental condition at the time, it just breaks his heart. He thinks back to a time, he even referred to at least one time where he said there was Mandela visiting the University of Limpopo here and he and other children from the village were supposed to uh, go to Teflop to meet Mandela, but he could not because at that time his mental condition just deteriorated so he said when his mental condition was mentioned in court it just broke his heart and he could not compose his himself but then he learned he went the judge went on to ask him that do you think your mental condition what exactly do you feel and do you think it would make you unable to follow the proceedings here in court do you think it affected what you have been you are being alleged of and mr ndo stated that you know because of his mental condition he struggled to fall asleep most of the time where he spends the entire night this is what he said in court uh, awake and then he only falls asleep in the morning and when the judge pushed to say but then you if you are awake in the morning would you not be able to come to court and he said no he often has headaches during the day because of the lack of sleep and he just is unable to focus and concentrate so we saw a very emotional Mr. Ndo who said his mental state is something that is very touchy for him and it makes him very emotional Bongiwe. And Pimani, it kind of paints a picture of someone who is so deeply troubled. And, and I wonder, what have we then been able to uncover as far as what happened on Christmas Day? Bongi, where it sounds like somebody who's very troubled and unfortunately as members of the media we are unable to go through that report ourselves because it was actually a very big file that was brought into court and from what the lawyers were saying on record it looks like it details a lot of instances where he needed assistance for his mental condition where they say he was hospitalized for uh, days on end from childhood you know when he was young and what we gather happened that uh, fatal evening bongi was that mr ndo had relocated had uh, had come home to uh, to a uh, jimmy jones village from uh, mahikeng where he worked for the holidays and the the uh, you know this is hearsay information that has not been confirmed but what neighbors are saying he informed several people that he had the intention to renovate his father's homestead but for him to be able to do that he needed the people who were occupying that homestead, who was mostly his brother's son, his wife and uh, children, to leave that homestead. And he, according to these people, he even said he would get them out of that homestead by any means. These people saying this meant that he was even willing to kill them, to move them out. But I must also indicate, uh, uh, Bongiwe, this is a story that Mr. Ndo has disputed from when he went to the lower court even today he even stated in court that you know he actually handed himself over to police and when he was asked what were you handing yourself for he said because he had found a gun and dead bodies in the homestead saying that he was not the one who made that there was who ensured that there were dead bodies in that homestead so it's like he says he was not there he went into the homestead he found a gun and dead bodies that's when he alerted police and police from that point according to him treated him as a suspect which he says he actually isn't very briefly, uh, Pemani, who else was in court? Because I saw what looked like some family members.
Yes, Bongi, we're family members. The families of the uh, victims who, were, who are now deceased were there. But we've also seen a sister, Tundo, who the lawyer said is the one who first informed him that Ndo had a medical history of a uh, mental uh, condition, Was has always been there in court. She seems to be the only family member who still supports Mr. Ndo, while the other family members are talking about how they have lost their loved ones in the, on that evening, Bongi, we. All right, uh, Pemani, let's see then what happens on Friday. But thank you very much for bringing us up to speed there. That's SABC News reporter Pemani Baloi.